Uh-huh, yeah It's the episode where we go, go, go And we do it, do it, I got flow, flow, flow I could rap for days, you don't know, no, no And I got the beats on deck, deck, deck All my friends, they be like, what the heck, heck, heck Cause he gotta go, he got the check, check, check From the bank, bank, bank Yeah, yeah, yeah And I do it like that And I go, and I go, and I go I want Connery to zoom into my face right now And I want my pupils to say, help me Help me, because why? Uh, Because I'm having so much fun Mm. You are having fun when I rap Episode 22 You know what I'm excited for? Honestly, what? I feel like okay, we're 22 episodes in. We do I'm this. I'm 22 years old. I'm 22 years old. I'm excited to break out into kind of some sort of either like sub pod or sub shows that fall under the nevermind category, whether that be specifically on Patreon or whatever. You know what I mean? Like some like no, I don't extra stuff. Either. Like you know, like doing like um like another show that maybe is more topical. It has a specific point and a specific thing we discuss where it has like a gimmick. Like this is the Oscar episode. No, 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 no. Not episode. Show. Show. It's not called Nevermind. It's something else. It's our Bachelor Review show. Nevermind. It's our Survivor Presents. presents Survivor. Veronica Survivor takes. Whereas like this is Nevermind. Yeah. And then underneath that we have other stuff where maybe it's like specific types of guests. Kyle's Recipes. Kyle's recipes. Cooking. I have this idea for oh, one. Mm-hmm. I think would be really cool. I've always wanted to have an interview show. Oh. When I was in um, college and I was really living and breathing New Orleans, I was like, there needs to be a late night show that's New Orleans based. Yeah. It's all LA. There needs to be. And it's what all I always New York. Think, say, we think. need a New Orleans one. We that need has- New Orleans and I've been there and I know that that needs to happen. We need one that just has a bit of a swampy vibe to it. You know what I mean? Instead mm-hmm. of having the background being New York City, New York, fuck that, or LA, LA the Hollywood boring. sign. Forget How about that. it's swampy? It's nighttime swamp. There's like this old and the host should be an alligator. No, I would be the host. Oh, and the name that I came up for the can name the, that can I came the up second with guy it, be the alligator? Like the the little bless you, <laughs> bless you. Like you're talking about the like sidekick. Me. Yes. Could be an alligator. I was thinking more- Can it more, be me an alligator outfit? I was thinking more of like a like a Creole Cajun guy. Oh. You know. So I'm not part of this. No, this was just my idea that I had when I was in college. I'm not saying that that's what I want to do. So you didn't include me. For this. Before I knew you? No, I didn't. That's rude. And um, I wanted to call it late night tonight. It's like my boyfriend- Kind of a little punny, you know? It's like not when punny, my boyfriends it's, it's don't cool. have- have had other girlfriends and have kissed other people and have had other people and they didn't wait for me, but they didn't know me, but they didn't mm-hmm. wait for me. And I you, go, get the, get, this isn't it. Right. This must, this isn't it. Cause, Cause you, didn't you wait. haven't done that. What? Cause you haven't like. I've never done any of that. Yeah, exactly. I'm waiting for my Mr. Right. Um, my interview show. So I have an idea that I think we could do underneath, uh, never mind. Okay. And okay. So I would be the host. I would interview, um, culturally relevant people. Like? And, um, I don't know. Keyboard cat? Keyboard cat. <laughs> um, cat. Donald Glover. Yes. Um, so Stranger enemies, kids. enemies of the show. Stranger stuff things, like that. Stranger Things kids. Something like that, yeah. Do that one. And then what, the, but there, there's a catch to it, okay? Really Bobby Brown. There's a catch to it. Yeah. Because I like food so much also. What we do is... In front of me and in front of the guest are 10 wings and increasing spiciness. So like the first one is kind of uh, like mild temperature. I'm it's listening. good. It tastes good. And then the last one Wait. in the 10 is like really, really, really spicy. And, and they get like, wait, wait, wait. And they're like kind of, it's harder to answer questions as the interview goes on. Well, yeah, let me explain it. Goes yeah, on. Yeah, okay, yeah, go ahead, okay, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. It's what my are, idea. Are and you so, bald? During, did you shave your head for this? Are you going to be bald for this? No, I don't think so. It should be vaguely should like hip hop oriented too. Just yeah. has like a, you know. Yeah, so anyway, um, so I'm, I'm doing these questions, right? And we're eating the wings together. Mm-hmm. And then 
yeah, it's like they get hotter. It's kind of making the guest a little more vulnerable because they're mm. sweating. They shouldn't really touch their eyes. Dealing with it. You should definitely mm. not touch your eyes. Yeah. And then, yeah, towards the end, I have this like idea where basically because it's the hottest sauce, we actually take no. that bottle that's there of the hot sauce <gasps> and just put like a tiny little drip Whoa. of it on it. We just call it the last drip. <laughs> the last drip? Yeah. And oh, we put it on the- good, Do they have one called the, like you should do one called like the bomb. Yeah, that one sounds like it would be really bad. Just yeah, tasting. Know about that. You tasting know, it, it won't be the hottest one, but I wouldn't do that. Kyle, you're mm. kind of onto something. And yeah, and then we just interview people, and um, we we do like yeah. very specific bits and questions. Like I, I have this idea for it where yeah. we um, we pull up pictures from the guests' Instagram if they yeah, have Instagram, yeah. and they have to. I'll pull like random pictures, and they have to explain the thing. What the thing? I have is. an idea for. A show, mm-hmm. spitting off that. Okay, that would also fall under Nevermind. It would also fall under Nevermind. Okay, okay. So it's people, and they're like, okay, so they're like they eat. It's like there's a bunch of money, and they have to like eat really like gross weird things, like you know, like the bull of or like the balls of like a bull or like eyeball of a fish, like, mm-hmm. and then they like throw up whatever. Then they make it to the next round. Someone always gets like eliminated next round. Then they're they have to lie down and to be covered in rats oh, or like cockroaches. That mm. sounds I not like right. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the next one is maybe they have to be like there's a car floating in the sky and they have to like get the keys out of but it's raining and then they have to get. Where the keys. do you come up with these ideas? I know you guys. And it would be called Fear Factor. War. Right. Oh, Fear Factor. It's That's French. a show. What? That sounds like Fear Factor. And then I would also shave my head later in life. <laughs> oh, okay. And then start a podcast. Oh, I see. Yeah. So what you're talking about is the show Fear Factor mm-hmm. and Joe Rogan. Mm. See, Kyle came up with something like original. Yeah. Right. And you were kind of just riffing on a show that already exists. I thought it was, okay. So I don't know. Okay. So there, there's okay. a difference there though. Well, but anyway, that's the, what we're into. The um, idea is that anyway, that I would like to, you know, do some, some things at some point. It's episode 22. Maybe it happens that episode. So what does that mean? 40. Yeah. I think we should do a, four, a forty-five, Five. fifty-dollar tier. Yep. And the the only thing that you get is access to a podcast that's just Michael in a room by himself. God. <laughs> right now. Right now. Like he is right now. And he just he, gets to kind of talk I whenever he idea. wants. He just, I just like I was I like, hey Michael. And he's like, hey, how'd you sleep? And I was like, really good. Gotta go. I Earth, have a better your idea. Three best friends are gonna hang out without you. Better idea from for for Michael bonus tier. What? We set up a <laughs> live stream that's activated every time Michael is in his office. And yeah. it's a camera that's basically just like webcam so you can see his face. And then also is recording everything that's on his <laughs> screens. screens. <laughs> everything that he's like reading and looking at and whatever. But it's a live my, stream. One of my favorite things about Michael is we're working. Yesterday we had a big work day. We're all working it's very like, truly like 14 hours trying to figure out schedules, all these things. And he'll just throw on music really loud in the middle of like a- con- Like a, an like, idea generating. Like idea, yeah, we're like writing whatever videos, whatever it is, like we're just, we're working. And he just throws on like Alex G super loud. On his to, laptop. Yeah, on his laptop. <laughs> to like, ma- like create some sort of fun- uh environment, but it's just absolutely driving me up the wall is what it's doing. Well, people work differently. You, I love, I work way better with music on. To, to create ideas? By as long yourself. As, it's, as long as it's- We were like writing a TV show. Sure. As long as it's instrumental. I can't have no, lyrics it wasn't. and shit like that. <laughs> it, it wasn't, but I'm just saying people are different. Silence. Yeah. I'm a big, but, yeah. but then he, it's always like in the most- it's like we've been working for four hours and then he just throws <laughs> it on and he and I see him turn up the volume max. Can I tell you something? And I go, just put that away. Guys, I would pay 50 bucks. And I go like this. And I hang out. And I go in sec. I go like this. <laughs> That's you throwing a laptop out the window. And it's like <laughs> hitting <off> cars. Hey! <laughs> Can I confess something to you guys? What's up? What's up? So, okay. 
just a few moments ago, I told you guys a show idea that I had okay. for that would fall under Nevermind. Yeah. Mm. And I don't know how else to say this. I What's up, buddy? completely Made took that I own. I completely took that idea oh. from something else that exists on the internet. What is it? What is it? There's this like weird niche show on YouTube called Hot Ones. Mm. And basically the guy, guy. the host, he does exactly that. And it's not something that a lot of people see. It's like kind of like a weird sort of personality trait kind of thing. Uh, Yeah, liking liking Hot Ones. How do you know the name? Is liking The Office. How did you like know Like how the those name? are two personalities. Do you know what I'm saying? How? That liking The Office is a personality, liking Hot Ones is a personality. Did you know the name is what I want to know. Great bit. Let me Great just bit. jump in and here for a second. You know what, what's the best about a bit is you explain it. People, how did you know the name? People like that. People love that um, about Kyle. Okay, guys. Can I say something Can first? I say something? I have to say something about Hot Ones. Oh my God. Yeah, what? I, there's, there's one thing wrong with Hot Ones. There's one flaw, the biggest flaw in Hot Ones is that the background music is the worst mm-hmm. thing ever. And I guess maybe they're just using no. like it's royalty it's free first stuff. season though, first like three seasons was awesome. It was Not the bomb. background music. Yes, dude. I loved when they were doing like the zoom ins and like everything was getting really intense. Yeah, they don't do it as much music. anymore. No, but they do that. But I'm talking about just in the normal beginning when they're just like kind of going, it literally sounds like you're like skipping through a valley and it's beautiful and there's sunshine. It's like, bum, 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 dum, dum, dum. I wish bum, I could chime bum, in, but I bum. really have no idea what I, you're talking about. I actually about. don't either. And I was like a Hot dum. Ones guy pull in 2018. Up, just really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> pull up. That's your personality. Yeah, I was going to say like- yeah. Pull up the I most recent new, episode. I just watched an Emma Chamberlain one. Pull up the most recent I do one. like- A pull goal of mine is to be on Hot Ones. That's a fun- Okay. Yeah. Pull, pull up Ones the Emma Chamberlain music. one. Skip to like- I'm just going to say like <laughs> three or four minutes. This one? No. This is like the- This is the one I'm thinking about. Yeah, sure. But- that's not going on in the background the whole time. Dun, 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 dun. Pull up the back, just Emma Chamberlain sure, hot ones. Sure, sure, sure. And listen to the music. Go to probably three to four minutes. I Barry think. Like. Sydney Keoghan? Sweeney. No, the newest one with Emma Chamberlain. You guys wanted. You guys wanted to watch the Sydney Sweeney one or just, the no, one with Emma Chamberlain? Just watch one. Just go to the one with Emma Chamberlain. Okay, we're in. <laughs> and skip ahead. No, I'm good. Like three because minutes. At the end of the day, listen to the music. Hmm. Oh. What is that? It's, it's, Dude, that's new though. Okay. I'm telling you, the it's first playing. couple it's, it's seasons. It's inspirational. She's it is. She's making it through. I remember when this when this changed. It is hope core vibes. <laughs> it's just, it's not even hope core. It's worse than that. It's just like. It is It is kind of like a, a, an infomercial for lost, for dogs. Yeah. yeah. Adopting pup, puppies. Yep. That's yep. not the vibe You're of right. that show to me. When nope. I look at what that show looks like, it's not that. You're right. I agree. It needs to be more, because I think it is moments where he goes, so- in this Instagram post, you said, and you see, and you hear that. Bum, 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 yeah, Sean Evans. Bum, 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 Who knew Sean Evans was going to be the one of the greatest bum, bum, interviewers hey, of all time? I was going to say though, when that when that came out, obviously there's been a lot of imitation, and when you be, get that big, you you get under a lot of scrutiny, and a lot of people mimic you, and you become a meme. When Hollins came out, it was it's like a, no, a it's a really great concept. in like. Music yes. journalism no, and awesome. actor journalism. It's a really I'm awesome show. I'm, it's awesome. It's like, it's the same thing. The fans ruined the thing. Yeah, I was, exactly. like, the office, he was like up, Rick and Morty, like Hot Ones. He was up there with Nard, like, Nardwar. I think you should leave. It's, he's Nardwar, but wings. It's good. It's I have, I, I watch Nardwar. Hot Ones very frequently. I think they're great and fun interviews. I was just making a silly joke. Of course, of course. We all like Hot Ones. But also the music. I'm like, you got to change that. Every time I watch it, it it feels so. I remember, I remember like third season or fourth season in when they started to switch up the music, and I was also upset. Yeah, it's been. It's Connery. We get it. You've been watching it since since season one, dude. Chill out. So I actually, when I watched it, when there was like three views on it, I was like, this music rocks. You know who? I remember when I saw the first episode. Actually, it had like what was year was that? Twenty. It it was like 2000 BC. It literally just just came out. Like it was like. 
the minute that yes. it came out, I knew who Sean Evans was because I was His name was like, actually Evans Sean and then they flipped it. Right. Well, yeah. because, when I saw that though, the first one, the very first interview they did, I was like, this shit's like super sick. Fire. It's DIY yeah. and like they're eating these wings and it's like yeah. bringing food into hip hop, into all this shit. And I saw that shit from the like the beginning. The beginning. And I'm not like that kind of guy no. to boast about seeing something early on, but like I saw that shit from like the very, 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 very beginning. And like, let me just say that shit has changed up a lot. Like a lot, a lot. And like I fuck with the shit oh, that was happening like way early. You know what I mean? But what were you saying, Connery? Kyle's bits go for years. Ten, and they love Kyle, it. They go for 10 seconds too long. And they love it. They love it. I love it. And they love it. I love it. And I love episode so 22. 22. We're going on everybody. You know the drill. Subscribe. Smash, smash that like, like button. button. Smash, smash that notification, notification bell. Bell. button. Comment, comment down, down below something about your like family the, and friends. Spotify. And, and we're, we're doing a little do show. show. We're doing shows. shows. We're and doing I'll tell shows you then. at April 10th at the at in Brooklyn at the Bell House. April 13th, Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee. Comedy Festival. I'm stoked. May 2nd, Philadelphia. May 4th, Pittsburgh. May 21st, San Diego. May 22nd, Los Angeles. June 25th, Atlanta. And here I'm going to put other moments. Maybe there are other shows happening right now. And maybe I'm just pointing at the camera. Probably that. But there might be something else. Seven you know? Who's to say? Who's Who, to say? Who's to say that I'm there won't be say. another show? And if you're listening on Spotify, make sure you hit that fucking follow button. And if you want bonus exclusive content, head over to patreon.com. You know right? Never mind, pod. You, you know can listen to us do some other crazy shit. You know what I do. Shit. You know what I do. We actually did um, What's up? one that by this point is uploaded where I did a cooking with Kyle. It's a cooking show. Oh. And it's just me. And I'm saying that now that it's going to be up by then because I want to light a fire under Connery's bottom. Oh, and nice. Was, his bottom. We don't curse on this show. Damn. Yeah. I love it. Um, well, cooking with Kyle. Cooking with Kyle. I made. Kyle, has Kyle ever cooked for you, Connery? Have you ever had Kyle's cooking? Kyle's cooking. No, Kyle's never yes, you cooked have. for me. No, I don't think. Have you? He. I'm, he. You must cooked have. for us that curry, Thai when, curry. Oh, when you guys came up to Montreal? No, here. Oh, really? Remember? Yeah. It was that. It was the day. Um, you know the day. We also had. Um, or in Kyle's cooking, in Kyle's cooking, cooking with Kyle, I made a beautiful chicken breast. I made some just absolutely oh delicious Brussels sprouts. And I made some of my favorite uh, fingerling potatoes. And it was a delicious meal. We filmed the whole thing. Half an hour later. We went, re we're, I'm going to also light a fire in, under my own bottom. Thank you. For, thank you for I love you, Kyle. I'm in love with you, Kyle. Thank you for not cursing. I'm in love with you, Kyle. Thank you for not cursing. I think we really went bon appetit on this bitch. Oh yeah. On what? On the on cooking with Kyle. I think I I think I really, I think I really popped off. I'm excited. If to it's see good it. and if it's and if it's good and crazy, maybe it'll nice, be a YouTube series. We might no. It just isn't out right now. <laughs> it is. But anyways, <laughs> bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon, bon appetit. I've bon. decided. I think I'm ready to watch Entourage. Yes. I think I know this. This is the most white <laughs> film boy fucking shit in the world. You know what? It's not though. It's actually not. I think I'm ready to do it. I need to be inspired. It. I want to watch. I haven't seen tonight. It. I want to watch Project Avalanche. Yep. Okay, it's called Operation Avalanche. Oper Operation Avalanche. 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 Okay. And then I want to get into Entourage. And do that show till fucking five in the morning. You want to stay up watching Entourage until five in the morning. I am feeling, I feel, I'm feeling like give me, sh give me stuff to watch. Mm -hmm. I want to like just eat and consume and not even eat, like just like watch stuff. I'm ready. I'm in that mode of like, I could go to a, a double feature tonight. Mm. How about yeah. Dune? Have you seen the first one? Yep. No, you haven't. You fell asleep in it. Maybe I'll watch it first. I saw the first one by myself in Hamilton, Ontario. Maybe I'll watch it. And I rocked the house down boots. What did you just say? 
It rocked the house down boots. It rocked the house down boots. Yep. Is that a it's, phrase? It's drag. It's drag. That's a drag phrase? No, it, you can't just make up something and then say it's no, drag. No, it is. To, the house down boots? It rocked Google the it. house down boots. I'm Google, Google that, that shit. Yeah. Or Connery you don't can. need to Google it. That's why I have Mr. Connery in the corner it here. It rocked the and house. stick in that corner. It rocked the house down boots. Yes. Okay. Down boots is a thing. Okay. But what is rock? I feel like I'm like, can I have a caller in? Can I call Mitch Wood right now? Let me just see. Let me just see. We're going to dial somebody We're going to dial in. Okay. Make sure this time you actually hold yes. the speaker of the phone up to the microphone. We had my dad last time. We're going to call Mitchell Wood this time. Okay. You're already not doing it. The speaker needs <laughs> to be- Give me a second because I want to, because who knows what he's going to say when he answers. Yeah. If he answers. Right now we were dialing Mitch. at Mitch Wood. Okay. He is Canadian. Did you find anything? Yeah, but I want to see what Mitch says. He is Canadian. He answered. Mitchell, can we, you're on my podcast right now. Turn it up. Turn that up. Okay. I have a question for you. I just said. Hold it. Hold that mic there. I just said. You have to talk into the mic too. You have to talk into the mic too. No, no, you no, have I to do, talk I into do. the mic. Okay, here I am. Check, check. I just said to, I said, it rocks, Dune 1 rocks the house no, 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 down no, check boots. This out, check this out, check this out. I'm going to- Right? You can talk on your own. I said, like the movie Dune 1 rocked the yeah. house down boots. Yeah. Is that a phrase? Uh, hello? Yes. Is that a phrase? Yeah, like it, uh, it rocked the house down boots. Mm, yeah, that's the way it, it, it works. Okay, what do you? Okay, tell me what I'm doing wrong. No, you would say like the house down, but yeah, rock the house down. What? Rock the house down boots. I don't know. You would say rock the house down. I, I agree, but like down boots is obviously a thing. Yeah, like yeah, exclamation mark. Down boots means like exclamation mark, like down boots. Like thank oh, you. Amazing exclamation mark. Is it like a period is it like period? Is it like a sentence finisher? Yeah. No, it's like boots. Boots means exclamation mark. Think about that. Like, oh the, it was cold boots. It was like it was cold outside, like or it was hot boots. Or like, oh that movie rocked the house down, so it rocked. The house down boot. So it rock exclamation mm. mark exclamation mark. Yeah, thank you. Because I was trying to explain to our um, to our allies here, and I just couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> I was like, I know I'm doing it wrong, but let's call it. Let's let's have a professional. Let's call me the let's expert. Call, let's call me the expert. Mitch Wood the expert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for you to come down. Uh, me too. Hey, it's gonna be a fun time. Okay. Well. Thanks. Thank you, Mitchell. We love you. Um, everyone go, go give Mitch a follow. Um, this is a big shout out. So this is how you're getting, this is how you're getting paid is through, um, <laughs> for the 50 people that listen to our podcast. Hey guys, don't follow my Patreon. It's www.followmypatreon. <laughs> Bye. Okay. okay. So boots means it's a flare. Was, it's yeah, a little yeah. flare at the end. Yes. Okay. So, Dune one rocked the house down. Boots. Is the Boots. phrase. Yeah. Boots is the little extra yeah. thing that you're- A term often found in drag culture and queer slang used for emphasis to add a flair to the statement. It doesn't literally refer to this. <laughs> Thanks, chat GPT. It Thanks, says, chat GPT. It doesn't literally refer to footwear here, but serves to intensify the expression. <laughs> Does it give you an example? Uh, no, it just kind of broke down, rock, rock the house, and then it broke down down. Then it broke down boots. Okay. So it's kind of three right. phrases into one. I think what was confusing I, I it is that rock I'm the sure house down wrong. is a, not fully a phrase by itself. No, it was kind of a Veronica ism Bring mixed, the house with, down. mixed with a little down boots. Your hair. Rocked the house down boots. My hair is like giving. S <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. Last episode, we're burping. <laughs> what? This episode, we're burping. <laughs> What are you gonna do about Honestly, it? Honestly, burps are just common on mm -hmm. Nevermind. What are you gonna do? Spank me? <laughs> I wasn't, to take this microphone. I wasn't planning Someone on Someone needs to take this microphone away from me. I was not planning on spanking you. I had- I got a few people I had a might. sip of a kombucha 
and I'm feeling absolutely lucha. Luchador. 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 Have we gone deep on that yet? You know, we we I've try. definitely mentioned it. And we people, will one time. people, th- this was, this was the best moment of, uh, where, uh, Jack Black did comment something on one of my recent videos and, <sighs> and he, 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 he's a Stan. It's not even like he like followed me. He's a Stan. And he, um, writes never stop which is already enough for me to, to die. And someone commented down, like a, like a, a follower replied and was like, naturally raised her favorite movie. And I was like, that's so awesome. People know that. And that makes me happy. Um, but we can get into that, but maybe, but just go watch it yourself. But yeah. first. But first. Wait, Whoa. what is that? Ah, I just burped. Did you hear it? <laughs> yeah. I burped. I'm too oh, busy. Pretty. I'm gonna do a. Let's go back to gnome this time. My name is the Queen of the Witches, the Queen of the Land, the Queen of the Riches. I welcome to Midland. Can you take my hand and stand? So, for those of you who can't tell, this is the queen of women's land. Hello. She is so angelic, and her how, voice typically does not sound like this. It sounds how much are more you? angelic. How are you guys? Mm-hmm. Well, it's angelic when she sings. You guys look really tired. But when she talks, she sounds a little different. Someone get him water. Someone get him water. Queen. Yes. How are you? It's good. How are you doing? Good. Uh. I must say, I, I, I bring with me some folks who they wish to enter for at least an a, army of people. It's who not are a, these people? They're not an army. They are friends. Really, Queen. Seems treats to do some one by one. Okay. Or else sure. I'll have them. Lovely voice she has. Yes, we have Sarah Dahlstrom, Hayden Kuhn, Lucy Walker Cox, Adrian Dubicki, Finn Bruce, Zan, Aaron Ruggiero, Ashlyn, AO Pipu Sponsor, Bad Sick, Carson, Eric Berg, Gemma Yemo, Katie Chase, Lily One of One, Nelson Brooks, Bella Perdica, Charlie, Jesse Lucas, Colorado Ossenberg, Lydia Crow, Billiam, Kaylee Lang, Dana Increasement. Whoa, he scrolled way too fast and now can't go back up. Oh no, what has happened? He's done something wrong. Dana Creaseman, Haley Jeffers, Hot Sauce Haley, Kelly Beach, Louis Louis Louis, Manso Wisa, Sophie Serenkolsky, Susie Alvarez, Martin Legrand, Poppy Davies, Belle Stone, Anastasia, A. Didi, Lowly, Ali Tipman, Andre Sanchez, Andrew Navarro, Bob Sacamano, Coco, Deals for Reels, Hive My Raleigh, Holden McGroin, Jack Blower, Lars Strelitz, Madeline Van Note, Mia Babadia, Willie One of One, Daniel Vinard, Stink, Emily Faith, JJ Wright, Ray, Schmassity, and of course, Skunk Thunk, Slump Stunk, but Stump Thunk, Skunk Stunk. You have all been the bravest that I have ever seen. You have taken on such a tough journey. And welcome to women's land. Welcome to the world where women take on anything. And they can also be men. Oh, I want to be president. I want to be the one. I want to be a superstar. I want to be an astronaut. I am a woman. I can do anything. In the land of womanly. Take my hand and stand. Thank you, Queen. That was beautiful. May we come in now? Right. May we we come in now? Yes. Come on in. Okay. Okay. Let us go. Come in. Do you guys want the waters? We need a lot of waters. There's a lot of them. And And scene. scene. So the gnome has now made it to women's land. He's inside women's land. I wonder what what happened with the (laughs) witch. 
she's with us. Okay. She's still with us. Yeah. She's still with. Okay. She just was shy in that one. Yeah. She's still with she's us. She's in awe. She is in awe. What if I hold it like this? She's in awe. <laughs> what was the what was the bit we were doing the other day with their fingers? She's, That's that. What's that? She's in awe. Just pointing pointing at stuff with different fingers. What is that right there? Yeah, what's that? It's um, right there. Um, so, well, so, talk to me. I wanted to. I wanted to ask. I know. You. Go ahead. Okay. Well. Yes. Is that? I'm willing to risk the friendship. What is what? What did you say? See. What did you just say? I don't know. Here's the thing. Yes. Here's the thing. I love you too. No. Oh. How I'm a does I'm, has, with, I'm, when there's, I'm attracted to you, but don't know if it's just that or if, uh, more. What? What'd you say? I feel like she said that pretty clearly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like um, she's right there. Um, um, have you seen this? Okay, I'm not typically one to conspire. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Okay, no, you're not. I'm not. No. Not traditionally. No. no. But, Besides that, we all know they didn't land. It. We've never been to the moon. To the moon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have at least the first time. The other times, yeah. Have you seen the conspiracy theory on the uh, on on the fake plants? No. That you can get from Home Depot. No, it's that. Mm. You haven't heard about this. So you know, this, are you making this up? No, this is a, real. This no, is a conspiracy theory. I've seen this. This too. is real. You have seen it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you serious? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The plants. Are you? No, no. I because I'm confused, so I'm <laughs> gonna guess that they're gonna be confused. Is this real? or Are you doing a bit to me right now? This, no, this is, is real. real. Are you fucking with me right <laughs> no. now? This is real. You swear. This Let is, us explain it to you because it's interesting. This is real. I don't know if I fully believe it, but it is interesting. Do you know it? Yes. Okay. Both, go ahead. You both know it. Yes. The Home Depot plant thing. Yes. You didn't I see feel this like they're pranking me right now and I don't like it. Go, Kyle. Just explain. Okay. okay. So basically, um, with the fake plants that they sell at Home Depot, there's <laughs> there are uh, you know, like the plastic sort of um, what is it, like money tree? What's the big one that has like the small yeah. leaves coming off? There's like that they have I have a dead one in my room right now. Well, then it's not fake. <laughs> no, I have a dead one. So they didn't, they just didn't a regular take care one of from it. Home Depot, from IKEA. Yeah, okay. but keep going. This is specifically the Home Depot ones. Is that bad luck? That must be. I don't know. And um, so these these fake ones that they have, they're all sorts of whatever is the leaves that they use on them. <laughs> you're fucking with me. See, it sounds like it's a joke you're, now because no, you prefaced it with you're, that. And you're saving him right now. And you're both fucking with me. And if you do, you are, you owe me a pizza. No. So the leaves that they use on them, they're like these like plastic little uh, yeah. whatevers. They, the material that that's made of cannot be manufactured in the United States. Okay, I don't know the specific breakdown of what the plastic is. But it You're lying. It can't be made. You're lying. In the this United whole States. thing's a lie. This whole thing's a lie. No, but let him I finish. I was fooled. It can't be manufactured in the United States. And this weird whatever comes from a tree that only grows where? 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 I don't know. Where? Russia. Okay. And so a big part of the whole. Wait, wait. I want Connery to finish this. Yeah. Okay, big go part ahead. Of the whole. You are missing something. What? Oh yeah, go ahead. You're missing the fact that that a lot of fake plants up to this point were like slightly fabricy. Yes. And recently, especially, I think IKEA switched over recently, and Home this Depot one was, was specifically like, about the Home Depot. No, I know, I know, but that's because of the supply chain during COVID. So what happened was, during the whole political thing, like the past 50, 60 years. <laughs> You're both full of shit. No, no. I mean, see, you prefaced it as if it was a joke. And so now everything I say sounds insane. It is a conspiracy theory. So obviously it's going to be okay. unlikely. Keep going. Anyways, the conspiracy theory part of all of this is that Russia is using these plants somehow. I can't really remember exactly the YouTube video I watched explained it better. But it's somehow, on his TikTok. It's all over. It's clipped up on TikTok, obviously. 
<laughs> no, keep going. So the, yeah. Keep going. You're a good liar. I'll give you that. So. Am I surprised? I'm no. Not lying. <laughs> it's like guffawing. Mm. Um, anyways, so the plastic that they're using, there's little trace elements of some chemical or whatever. It's only manufactured in Russia, but it, it's a low enough supply. It's like some lead type thing where it's like it's low enough supply that they can pass through FDA regulations. Mm. The issue is that it really, really messes up with, and this kind of gets into the whole gluten-free thing, it really messes up with specifically people that are raised in Western North America are like metabolism and all this stuff, and it's causing a lot. <laughs> okay. I'll finish. Okay, wait, no. It's causing. I'm going to finish this. Yeah. <laughs> it's causing okay. the reason that um, we've been seeing a huge <laughs> push in in what in lactose intolerance is because of I thought this it was gluten intolerance chemical. Well, no, that was the, that was the first part. <laughs> <laughs> the second part is that it's actually lactose intolerance, <clears throat> and so this this thing in homes, they're they're very specifically putting it in these homes, and Home Depot doesn't doesn't know about it, yeah. even though they might be working cahoots. This is real. This, this is real. This so is real plan. fake plants. No, here, no, no, no. This is, okay. Home Depot fake plants. It's where they get it from. Home Depot fake plants I think, are yeah. causing lactose intolerance and gluten intolerance? Linked to lactose intolerance. You're because, full of because it, shit. It's a conspiracy theory. I'm not saying I believe it. I'm just saying I've, I've seen it. A big part of it too is just that. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I hope it feels good to lie. I hope it feels good to lie you too. Um, it feels a big really part of it too good. is clientele between the two. This is why we're talking about IKEA. Mm -hmm. Is that it's it, the, the IKEA has a little bit of a stricter regulation about this stuff, mm -hmm. and this is where the conspiracy conspiracy part comes in because it's not just like oh Russia's trying to like make everybody lactose intolerant. It doesn't make any sense. Specifically, people who would vote to not like Russia, those are the people who are at Home Depot buying stuff, building stuff. <laughs> what? Is going. It's a on. huge. It's a huge push because the right wing <laughs> yes. is shopping at Home Depot. Yes. You guys are full of it. That's yes. real. That's Look not it real. Up. Look it show up. me right now. Show me an article um, right now. Do you have any? Have show you, me an article on my phone right here. Have you Should seen? I look it up? No, it's fine. I'm just curious if you've seen yeah, any. Yeah, also as if they would be on the internet like widespread. I saw it one time and then immediately it was all shut down. Yeah, it was, right? Yeah, That's why it clipped, it yeah. obviously clipped up from YouTube to TikTok. Um, yeah, and then it I was didn't buy deleted. it for a second to anyone who, who is listening or who is watching. Nice. I didn't buy now it for a second. You're part of the propaganda you machine. Know. You're part of the um, propaganda machine. Um, conspiracies, theories that I know of. Or that you've seen recently mm. that you're kind of like, Oh, that's interesting. You know? Mm. Yeah. We love air. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm Dead just thinking, air. I'm just thinking. I'm put on the spot right now. Yeah. Um, it would sound like you have to make something up. We're not no, making something I'm, up. I'm literally thinking in my brain. You just have to remember something that already exists. That's why I'm... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there's the one that you told me about the other day. Which one? The Paramount Plus one. Oh. Have you heard about this? No, I actually haven't. Actually? Yeah. It's fucked. Yeah. Go. What, what you know it, it better than I do. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is it the mountain thing? It is. With yeah. the stars? Yeah. True. What is it though? Um, the Paramount Plus, like the new yeah. streaming app. It turns out the conspiracy theory is mm -hmm. that... It's Paramount. Mm -hmm. Stuff from Paramount. Yeah. Plus. Hmm? Plus. Yeah. Other things that aren't on Paramount. What do you mean? So, so that aren't from Paramount. Like they also have like Survivor. They also have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, other shows that I, I think they also have The, the Curse maybe. Mm -hmm. Or is that Showtime? I don't know. No, showcase. they have it. Paramount, that's on Paramount, Paramount Plus. Mm -hmm. um, so The Mountain... It turns out there's actually no mountain like that. That's a conspiracy. That's just a drawing. Really? And mm -hmm. the stars? Not also a... drawing. Seriously? Mm -hmm. 
From the Paramount logo. Yes. So what is Stars the- Stars don't actually look like that. Like, Especially in that shape. Yeah. I was always like, where is that, right? Like literally where is that? I would like to go and go see it. Like what constellation yep. could I find that looks like that? Don't happen. Um, yep. You know, that's really interesting. But yeah. what's the thing? Because they said something about like what the drawing and like the guy who did the drawing. Remember you were telling me about that? There was the guy who did the drawing of the Paramount Plus logo. Oh, right. And what the Howie reason, Mandel. the reason that he- yeah. He did it Howie. like that. Do you know just Howie Mandel? Yeah. And and what was the the reason? Yeah. He was trying to actually pitch his own deal or no deal show. Yeah. Streaming network. That's the word I was looking for. Streaming network. Yeah. And he I used this was in the nineteen sixties. So he used that logo. And it was never to be seen again. I don't like this game. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Um, okay. Can I? Okay. What? Because that that. Okay. So you just told us obviously one that <clears throat> is real that's out there that you believe. Are, are we going to keep going with this? I have to confess something to you. What? If you explain the bit, it's the, no longer funny, Kyle. I have to explain something to you or God. confess something. The <sighs> the conspiracy theory that Connery and I- Kyle, people know. Just explain to you about the Home Depot fake plants. What? <sighs> We made it up. I'm sorry, okay? We were kidding. And I know that you believed it. And I know that maybe you felt scared for a moment. Next. But I just want you to know that it was entirely fabricated and we made it up. And for that, I'm sorry. That's a good friend right there. That is a good Good friend. Okay. Anyways, we're moving on. Hey guys, I have a we're question for you guys. Yes. What's up? Um, Schmacity asked, if you woke up one day and everything was paused and you were the only person moving, what would you do? God damn it. Um, Mary Jacob Lordy. <laughs> <laughs> Just paused <laughs> Jacob Lordy. Makes no sense. First thing I do, I find Donald Trump and I steal his wallet. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Um, um, I would probably. I would. I think. I would walk it, around for a bit. I, I would walk I'm around like, outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd walk through the streets, and if things were not returning to normal, I would think I'm dreaming, and then I would probably find a way to just go ahead and check out. End it all. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> No, I, I totally agree with you and I see that. I really do. I'd think about it. I'd think about how I want to do it. I'd be like- Because money's I... worthless at that time. Every, and everything. Because you can just steal, do anything you want. I can't get anywhere. If it's just what you- What are you talking about? <laughs> if everybody's paused- Like I can yeah. drive, but I can't like fly a plane. I think everybody's, yeah, so? Go live in the- Go live however you no, want. No, I'm ending it. Yeah, but for what- That's I'd, the end of the chapter. That's the end of the book. For what, I'm not sure, you know? Yeah. I'd be like, I okay, I would, I would, I would give it, I feel like a month. Wow. I feel like I'd give it a month before I just went absolutely insane. Mm. Just absolutely insane. I'd give it a week. A week. We need to talk about this. Oh, wait, or hold on really quickly. Do you guys like zombie stuff? Like zombie movies or no. something? No. No? Yeah. Because like, I feel like that's like a common, I love a good like, Guys alone, but and then you. But in that case, but here's the alive. difference. Here's yeah. the difference, though. I see that. In that case, I would want to find the. Maybe there's somebody else who's unpaused. Yeah, I was gonna say. In the case right. of that, though, because there are, in like a zombie thing, no one else is around. Is the is the biggest part? Everything's empty. Mm. Whereas when people are paused, especially if we're here, there's gonna be people everywhere. 
they're just not going to be moving. So seeing somebody else. Oh God, I can't even think about it. That's a good idea. Or whatever is like. Free Friday. Is going to be really weird. And yeah. maybe somebody's. What if it's a Friday? Maybe Faking somebody's it. fake positive. Well, that's what I was going to say. Maybe there's like this whole like sort of like society where like we've grown. It's like maybe three or four months. And now there's people who can move, but don't want to move yeah. around other people to, just to blend in. It's like a form of camouflage. Still yeah. camouflage. Okay. It's a good idea. Sure it is. It's a bright movie about it. Schmacity, great idea. Thank you. Um, uh, Gavin Telford yep. asked, what would your drag names be if you were to do drag? Mine would be, mine would defo be Fupa Galore. Ooh, mm. good name, good name. That's a great name. We've done yours before. Nail Polish. <laughs> Nail Polish? It's spelled the same way. That's good. <laughs> I don't know what mine would be. I have to throw, I'm trying to think of like some of the ones that I like on the show. I like show. Kyle for now, but Kyle something. It can't be Kyle though. Okay. It has to be a lady's name. Kyle was a lady's name actually. I knew a girl named Kyle in high school. Really? And it really threw me off. So my school, yeah, 7 through 12. Yeah, throwing me off a little she, bit right now. A lot of people came to school at that school in ninth grade because that's yep. the mm-hmm. more traditional route. Um. <laughs> It is not seven through twelve. You're right. Nine through twelve. So anyway, a lot of people did come to the school and missed out on the seventh and eighth grade at the school. Uh, ninth grade. I, well, I'm an eighth grader, and this girl entered the school as a ninth grader, and we're all having lunch outside together. Everyone's going, Kyle, Kyle. And I'm like turning my head, I'm like who's calling my name? But it wasn't me. It was just it this was other her. girl, and she was like kind Whoa. of in this friend group that I was in also, and so we were both named Kyle. And um, at first I was really annoyed by it. But then we had like a cool kind of like, oh yeah, we're both Kyle Bond. <gasps> um, what would I've my name be? Girl named How Kyle. about, mm, I'm trying to think of like something I'm into, whatever. I guess they're not always like plasma. That's just plasma. That's you not can do like, whatever you want. Yeah. How about, um, Mm. How about there's a name in my head that's just so bad. We're just it's, trampoline. It's terrible. The name that's coming to my head. Okay. It's awful. What but is it just it? keeps popping in my head. It's just like going like this. Okay, what is it? Is it awful and like that you can't say it? Or no, it's, it's just awful like, and just it's so it's, such a bad, it's just a bad name. I don't know why it? it came into my head. It's just a name I would make up for somebody. Yeah. <laughs> just a name you'd make up. It's bad. I don't know why this is coming to my head. <laughs> Can you say it? I can say it. It's just so stupid. It's the stupidest name. <laughs> you guys are, I'm just waiting to hear you guys <laughs> just absolutely <laughs> melt with laughter when you hear this. Um, Rodeo Jones. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why that name just came into my head. Rodeo Jones. And then I thought to myself, that's a, I was like, that's a terrible name. But then, I like that you're just like thinking around it and it's just it's like, that's it. That's which is like, bink, bink. Rodeo Jones. And then they would all call me Rodeo. So dumb. Or Ro. That's so ah, dumb. That's really dumb. Not I like that a pun. A has nothing to do with this at all. Yeah, that's a good one. <sighs> it has nothing really to do with one. me either. You know, <laughs> Rodeo Jones. Yep. Rodeo. Not even. I think it's Jones. Also, it's so intensely a decision. It's like he's so much of it. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. You know what? Maybe Rodeo Jones. <laughs> Okay, oh. okay, okay. How about okay. that? Right. That's not bad. Wait, that's yeah, good. That's Rodeo good. Jones. And then you're like kind of like- Texas, like South. Yeah. Oh. You're like- you got um, a big belt buckle and- Cowboy Who's that? A singer? Dolly Parton? Well, yes, but- um, BB Rexa. No. Um, Who's that mask? singer with the mask? Sia. With the mask and he's cowboy. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, right? Wow, blanking so you know, hard. me too. I know it'll who you're talking about. It'll come to me. It's just a we dude's name. We follow each other. It's just Dude? a guy's yeah. name. It's like Charlie something. No, 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 no. no. It's um, it's a. Uh, oh my god! 
Yo, I'll look it up one sec. That's crazy. Wanna... Don't look it up. His name is. What is it? It's bothering me. His name is something like this. What? Is, no, no. Oral pack. Nice. And no, I didn't even look. Yeah, I, I didn't even look. Did. I didn't even look. Yeah, oral pack. Yeah. Damn. Okay, that's kind of the vibe. Yeah, I love hey, that. Rodeo Joan. Rodeo. <laughs> but it came from Rodeo Jones. Yes. Yeah. Um, Connor, any other quish? Um, I, there was one more. Um. No, actually, there wasn't one. Somebody just wanted you to do your best Toronto man impression and then said both of you have to do it. And that's more of just like a... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I feel... Like <laughs> I also don't know what that means. But that's okay. Case. That's okay. I'm having one of these today. It's a organic kombucha by doc by Brew Doctor. Tasty and fizzy probiotic tea. It's very good. I um, think this is that... This not an ad at all. The not we still haven't had no ads. Episode 22, no ads. And... I, think I that, can't promise that that's how it's going to go for the rest of the time. I think that kombucha tastes like throw up. I love it. Kombucha tastes like throw up. I'm in. I'm into it. I'm so into it. I love kombucha. It's the same like throat sensation of when you vomit. No, it's, it's like not. It's that sort it's of like same. soury, it's pro, acidic. It's pro, pro and prebiotics. Okay, I understand that it's good for you. I just mean that it's... Not my cup of Especially tea. Especially Mr. Healthy over here. It's not my cup of I like my favorite tea. Fla- it's my cup of tea. Favorite flavor of medicine. Go. Favorite, what does that medicine? mean? Medicine? Flavor yeah. of medicine. A kid's medicine. Banana, cherry, oh. strawberry, raspberry, lemon, lime. There's this this one because I used to have, I used to have very intense um, stomach issues as I've talked about, but I would have stomach pains when I was younger, but that was just anxiety, like a lot of it. So I would drink like truly gallons of this like, kids um raspberry or like strawberry or bubblegum it was like a pink one um and then it had like a little girl on it like a little drawing and i would drink like at least twice a week i'd have that whoa yeah that sucks yeah but it was good yeah and i could still remember the flavor of it and it was kind of chalky Oh yeah, so it's like a yeah. pepto bismol kind, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. kind of vibe. I don't like that stuff. No, I don't like medicine all that much. Why Flintstones, there- Flintstones vitamins. You know, I'll tell you what. Sometimes AG one tastes a little bit like Flintstone vitamins. <sighs> it's reminiscent. It's reminiscent. Is it that- is. Oh. Yeah, when I when I get like the real vitamin y part of it, that's the. It one. makes me think of the chewable Flintstone vitamins, which I did like a lot. Um, I don't know. I just like the like if I'm hitting Nyquil, I'll just get the cherry. Nyquil, it's really the only medicine I'll. Yeah, I just had it all the time. Like I was like always uh, going home and from school, and uh, and it must have been placebo. Honestly, now that I'm thinking placebo. about it, placebo. That's a good drag name, placebo. 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 That's good. Damn, I like that. Okay. Placebo. Uh. Placebo. What, okay. What would your? What'd you say? Oh, are you sticking with nail polish? Maybe. What's your thing? I think, ma- no, never mind. I was going to say male Polish would have been better. What's your thing? Oh. Male Polish. Damn. Or something. I don't know. What's I your like thing? That. Yeah. What's your thing, though? I like that. I like that. <gasps> What's your thing? I'd be a comedy queen. Comedy. So you're mm. funny and goofy. You do a little. Wait. Because I'm not a dancer. This is, I- I'm so out of the culture, but are if you're a girl doing drag with the beard and everything, are you a comedy queen? What do no. you what do you call it when you're no, doing? No, no, no. There's like there is. Uh, we're just talking about like your strengths as a drag queen. Oh, okay. Because drag is all art forms. But you don't. Are, you're but not called if she's drag going queens. female to female, or right, she's going exactly. female to male. I'm assuming. Yeah. Is your persona male? Well, it's all. I think we talked about this last time, but it's all. I think traditionally, though, it's opposite. That's what maybe. But that's what the Wikipedia said. But yeah, I'm just it's curious. Just it's all genders could be. Female to female could be non-binary to to female. It could be non-binary, non-binary to, you know, non-binary. There could be like anything you want. It's, it's all about gender anything expression and love. It's all about. But anyways, being a character. I'm not an expert. It. Um. So, what other? We're really kind of like what? cross. Like I'm just like thinking about how I'm just like over here, like leg up, chilling. We're like crossing. Leg up, chilling. Have you been to Atlanta? Whatever. Yeah. About our show there. Every place that is on our tour list you've I've been, been to. to? Yes. Oh. Damn. Yeah. And Connery, I hope, will be joining us for a lot of it, if not all of it. Yeah. 
which is exciting. Hopefully that'd be really cool. I hope I can, can I talk about the one? No, I shouldn't. It's probably out. Look on my Instagram. Yeah, you can. You think? Yes, yeah, at this point sure. you definitely sure. can. Okay, well, Netflix is a joke. I hope because JFL got canceled just for laughs. Festival got canceled, which for those of you who don't know, is a comedy festival. And that was like the goal for a lot of people because it's the only thing there really is to like be like highlighted and um, yeah, where you go to the festival and meet producers and managers and, and other comedians and just have like, it's big like comedy camp. And um, I had a showcase for it this year and whatever, I was feeling pretty good about it. And I was like, okay, I hope I can get it this year. And uh, especially as an online person to then have that, like that's the kind of stamp of approval as like a real comedian kind of thing. And it's live and yeah. It's like an older institution. Yes. You know? So then I, uh, it got, it goes bankrupt a couple weeks ago. Nuts. So nuts. Who's going to, per- <laughs> Howie Mandel owns it. Really? Yeah. Does Speaking he? Of, yeah. Damn. Two, two Howie crazy? Mandel references I know. on the show. So his, his company went under. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn. I think it's because I've been thinking of him. Um, <laughs> I go, how's he doing? How's he doing all this? It's probably fine. Yeah, um, and so there's this other festival when I first, but when I decided to move to LA, which was two and a half years ago, I went in May with Mitch, who I just called and a bunch of friends from Toronto. And we we're like, let's just go for three weeks. Let's get discovered. Let's walk around doing monologues and some directors will come up to us and cast us and things. <laughs> Fair. No one was yeah. listening to that, but that was a funny joke. <laughs> and so we were walking, whatever, like just like hanging out, seeing how we liked it. And we all really loved it. And we're like, oh, wow, this is so different than Toronto or whatever. And it was that time in May when Netflix was a, is a joke was on. And I remember going to a bunch of shows and be like, holy shit, this is crazy. Like I'm dying to see these people. Kat Cohen had just... Um, followed me at this time and and it's kind of the beginning of my like kind of trying internet stuff and and I and I went to go see the show and I was like oh my and I met her after and I was like kind of like starstruck and really like and now that I also also to say is, is, there it is again. I have a show now and and Netflix is a joke and it's just a very full, full circle. circle moment Let's even go. though it's a Saturday at four p.m but it's still part of the festival. And uh, and I just, I think that's really, and they asked, reached out to me and my friend Haley, who I run Improv But Good with. So we get to do improv too. And, um, and who a lot of people might've also seen co-starring in that. Howdy, howdy video. video. She's so funny. I love her. She's, um, She's hilarious. So funny. And anyway, so now we're going to LA and I think we'll be out there for like three weeks if you want to hang out or something. But- uh, yeah, it's just a full circle moment. I had a moment of like, oh, cool. Like I'm feeling, moment. I'm feeling good about, yes. about life, but also now having this other overwhelming feeling, which I think I've been explaining to you guys of like, whoa, yeah, life is really ramping up. When we go to LA, we're going to have to pack all this up. We're going to have to. And bring it out there. And merch and everything in the world. That's why I like. We might, sure, yeah, we I'm might also more. bank some apps. Maybe. Wait, but I think, if we're, I think if we're in LA. I did not understand that. He said bank, bank, bank some, some episodes. Apps. Like film some, you know, and then. Oh, right, right. Whatever. But I think in LA. I would like to go out and guest on some. on some And also record some. And we could definitely record some. Yeah, we'll, we'll like definitely we figure out. Find a studio even and. We'll be out there for a long time, so use that or just or bring studio. the old. Yeah, studio's like hundred bucks or something. Like it's really not that mm-hmm. expensive. Or just bring the old. Yeah, bring the gear, bring the stuff, and film it's not that much. The B and B. Yeah, on the we beach. Lo- I love that machine. Or on the beach. Oh, in the desert. Or on the Hollywood sign. <gasps> on the Hollywood sign. And Hollywood hike. I loved LA. We had such a fun time there. And we went recently. Really it was, we went in December. It was great. I don't like it but i liked that time ah why don't you like it i just think i'm a small town boy at heart and 
New York, I'm also very uh, I love New York. Though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, no, I did. I never liked it. I think people is place for me, and I think that New York is where a lot of people that I love are, and so I like it and get used to it. I think LA just feels so different, and like I've never really been attracted to that vibe. I'm just, yeah. it's way more laid back, but it's still super hustly, but it's pretending not to be hustly. Yeah. I think it's the it's classic it's dichotomy. Like hustly, it's a classic then- dichotomy. It's a classic dichotomy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do we have time? It's a classic dichotomy because see, New York is okay. It's, okay. New York. Is, Everybody, a- Paul's in the building. Paul's in the building. Paul. New York. It's the classic. It's the classic hustle and bustle of the city. Everyone's got. Uh, they're going to work. Whether it's finance, whether it's music, whether it's film, everyone's got a job here. Whether it's tech. Everyone's doing something in New York. It's always the hustle and bustle. LA has, you know, it's people working on stuff, but they're not really giving it everything that they, it's like, it's a lot of pretend and it's a fake hustle and bustle, as Connery said. It's a classic dichotomy between New York and LA. Wow. Um. So Paul, where where do you prefer? I definitely prefer New York. Yeah. You're more of a hustler. New York is just my energy. It matches the type of vibe I like. Plus the Amazon that I work for is, it, it's the location that I could work at. Right. So do you, are you like working on music when you go home and stuff or I'm not necess- are you more of a fan? I'm more of a fan of music. I definitely dabble in it just a little bit, yeah. but music to me is for, I, I prefer the enjoyment I get from music is in the listening, less in the making of it. Favorite really quickly, just question for you. You see a distinction musically between the two coasts. Oh yeah. New York is much more, it's uh, much more, uh, harsh sounds and it's it's got a colder feeling to it. Whereas LA's music and I like the music in LA. Don't get me wrong, but it's much more laid back, sort of coastal beachy vibes. Do you have a, an ear for music? May I ask? Uh, yes. Like like for <laughs> for tones, for example, like what's this note? Um, that note so much is something I'm good at. My coworker Natalie's she can really seem to meet the notes of things and figure out what it's what. She's the more musically gifted oh, person. Is Natalie here? I'm not sure. She might be, but it's... Hey. Oh, hello, Natalie. It's me. So, what? So what do just, you want? Here, Think Bonnie, fast. So Bonnie, they were just give, her, give your mic to, to Natalie. So they were just asking um, about, since you're the more musical and one... And don't piss me off. Since you're the more musical <laughs> one, <laughs> they know that you can or do... Bite. You can sort of find notes and stuff like that with music. So somebody wants to know, for instance... What might this note be? Easy. E flat. E flat. Good. Okay. Duh. Okay. Good. How about how about maybe this? D D. Duh. This Great. is all baby shit. This is all baby shit. So Natalie's the one that's more good at that. I have more of the keen ear for bands and artists. Yes. He He's also p- the annoying one. Punch. Okay. You no guys, need for that. Wait, wait, hold on really quick. And the Amazon that you guys work at, you guys get up to any shenanigans? Sometimes yes. you mess around with, because <laughs> sometimes yes. people are, okay, so sometimes people are ordering CDs and such on there and we're often packing that. And sometimes I find it funny when someone's buying like a CD of an artist that I'm not necessarily into. And so sometimes yes. I might- We laugh about it constantly. We, we might laugh about something yes. that someone else is listening to. But we also mm, have a secret game that we play. You remember? We can't, we can't spill the secrets that we're doing here. Yes. It goes like this. Buy would not buy. Buy would not buy. And then we- um, and then we do like hide and seek around the Amazon too. Whoa. It, well, the Amazon is huge and it's always a kid's dream to be running around in a big place yes. to play hide and seek. And to be honest, I don't think there's food. any- We also get for, go for beers after work and stuff like that. I don't think there's any and issue with music. doing things that you were interested in as a kid, as an adult. It's fine. I think most people are doing it. My initial interest for music came from when I was a kid anyway. So, hmm. and yes, sometimes after work we do partake in beers- Whoa. And he also annoys the shit out of me. What gives? Wow. Thank you, Natalie and Paul, for coming out. Um, great. Their vibe is kind of strange. 
Natalie and Paul? Just the way that They're they just interact. Characters. I think I think she's horny for him. That's my vibe. Oh, interesting. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. That's the energy that. I'm getting. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, Paul Paul is just a guy who well, Paul's just into his, he's into what he's into. Yeah. And that's that. It's it's simply he likes music. <sighs> and I don't blame him for and that. I don't blame him for is what it. I'm saying. You I know love what I mean? it. I love it. Guys. Thanks so much for crashing with us for the time. Episode 22. It 22. Was, it was so good. And if you're not already, hit the subscribe button. Smash the motherfucking like button. Give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you're listening on Spotify, hit that motherfucking follow. Share with a friend. And if you want some more exclusive bonus content like me cooking and stuff, Go over to the Patreon at patreon.com slash nevermind podcast. And, and come see us on for our live shows. And come see us for our live shows. We, we, we're, it's going to be a blast. And uh, we appreciate it. We love you. And, and. And. What? And. Stop buying Home Depot plants. fake plants. Stop, stop doing it. Buying fake plants from Home Depot or else you're going to be lactose intolerant. You heard it here. Bye. Bye-bye.